Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie, if you guys are new here, and I'm with my sister, Emma. Emma. <laughs> and we're gonna be answering you guys' questions. I did like a little Instagram um, ask box. So you guys sent in like more personal questions that we're gonna be answering for you guys today. We just thought that we never do videos together. Ever. Ever. And Emma has her own YouTube channel. If you guys didn't know, I will link her channel down below so you guys can check it out. Um, but we're just going to be like answering all of your questions and getting a little bit more personal. We decided to go for a drive today. So we just drove down to the water and just going to, I don't know, get right after it, I guess. So I didn't take photos of them. I think that we should just like go through and answer them as we kind of as we go see mm -hmm. which ones we like so to start off oh how was your relationship when you guys were younger and were you always close so I'm 23 I'm 18 and I was 18 so we have a five-year difference between us um, and I would say that when did we get really close you always say we got close when you went to college but I feel like we got close once like I don't know, like once you like broke up with your boyfriend. Yeah, that's true. I feel like, well, it was my freshman year because yeah. I would go home every weekend and I would hang out with you. Yeah. But also like the summer going into college. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the summer going into college, we definitely did. Like right after I graduated right, from school. I was going to say during your graduation because I remember your... Was it after your graduation when we went to that restaurant? Yeah, it was after graduation and we took those we pictures. We took those pictures. And that vacation that we went on before. Yeah, it's in Florida. Yeah, so my I think graduation. Like that area of time was, so like this spring of your senior year was when we became closer. Yeah, and you were going into high school. So it was like when both of us started to like mature a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, older. When I was in high school, I was so busy playing hockey that like I was never even home. If you were explaining to somebody who doesn't know your sister, how would you describe her? I like this one. Do you want to go first or do you want me to? You. So I guess if I was trying to explain to somebody about Emma that didn't know her, I probably would say that she is very quiet at first, but like once you get to know her and like she opens up a little bit more, like she is so funny and has such a good personality and she's just so pure and like soft a little angel and I feel like you mean so well and like you have like the biggest heart and you're just so kind and loving and giving but I feel like just by people looking at you like they take it the wrong way so I like would make sure to tell them right off the bat like how you are as a person um, and yeah that's probably what I would say <laughs> for you I always say you're <laughs> I always say you're my best friend, obviously, because you are, but how would I describe you? I would say that you are very, you're like a, can I swear on your channel? Sure. You're a bad bitch. Like, you really are. You're very, like, really? yeah, like, no one gets in your way type of person. Like, really? Yeah. <laughs> you, Maggie's iPhone bitch is your name for your phone. <laughs> and, like, you don't really Thank put up you. with anything. You don't put up with anyone's, like... BS and you don't I don't know and you've taught me everything I know so I'm the way I am because of you yeah I feel like you're the way you am because of you're I the way you am. are because of me but also when I was your age I wasn't as strong as I am now and I was like a little bitch like I couldn't stick up for myself yeah you know so it's like I don't know I'm proud of you what is one way each of you get inspired by each other so one way that I get inspired by Emma is that you are very disciplined with your routine and I feel like she, like, will put herself before any situation in her life. Like, she will make sure that she does her workout, does all the things she needs to do before she hangs out with you or, like, does anything with you. Which is something that I feel like, as much as I put myself first, um, like, for example, if somebody, like, asked me to do something, if you asked me to do something and I knew I wanted to work out, I'd be, I would do something with you and then, like, figure out my workout later. Something mm -hmm. like that. You just are very disciplined, which, like, I admire about you. Thank you. I would say for you that your worth ethic, your work ethic and your, like, drive for, like, that type of stuff, like, work and stuff like that and your, how creative you are. Thank you. 
and yeah, because you're just so different in that aspect. You're very, I don't know, like you when you worked at Wakasa and when you were a hostess, I could never do that ever. And you're just, very like, good at like speaking. Thank you can you. talk very well. Like I could never like get up and talk to a whole crowd. I mean, I could talk to a whole crowd, but I just wouldn't be able to say the right stuff. Mm. You know, I know what you mean. I feel like, yeah, we're a lot different in that way. Like you're more, like I feel like you, like are more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, <laughs> look at that. Oh my god, I hope that you guys saw that. That was so funny. Was so little. Oh my god, that was so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so um yeah, I just feel like you're like we're a lot different in that sense. Yeah. Like you um I feel like you you have a lot of those thoughts in your head, but you don't speak them into existence. Mm -hmm. Like you have a lot going on in your head and you don't say it. So like you're very poised. Yeah, but I also you know? like can't say it. Like sometimes I just can't get it out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And but like, yeah. I think that I sometimes say too much, you know, like I, if I like want to say something, like I say it and I say all of it and I like don't hold back. So there's like, we're very different in that yeah. aspect. Oh my God. Who has a better style? Ellen, will fight, fight, fight. We have our own style. <laughs> have you ever compared yourself to the other sister and felt bad about yourself? A lot of the things about like style and comparison, we have our own style. Definitely. They've walked by three yeah, times. They did. What do you want to be in the video? <laughs> you want to answer a question? Um, I feel like we have different style. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, to an extent. To an extent, like you definitely have like more of a way, more of a kind of like a. Oh god, I don't even know. I can either wear something really comfy or I can wear like a dress, but no matter what it is, I have to wear sneakers. I would yeah. never wear a pair of heels. Yours is more of like tomboy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's how I've always been. Yeah. I like it, though. Yeah. And I'm like that, too, sometimes. But also, sometimes but I have like, a side no. of me that, like, is not the same as yours. Because even if you are a tomboy, you're wearing a pair of hoops. Yeah. Like, I'll wear a pair of hoops if I, like, get dressed up. But for now, like, my I wear my daily earring because I, like, don't care. But I can dress it up with, like, a cool pair of sneakers. Yeah. So, except for my Ugg slippers that I'm wearing right now. I like that about you, though. I like your style. And I feel like Emma and I definitely do, like, have similar interests. Like, that's what happens when you have a sister. Um, and I feel like it can get, like, taken the wrong way sometimes. Especially... What's good? <laughs> like, what do you want? <laughs> kind of <cute. laughs> you can, um, But I feel like sometimes people can take it the wrong way. Like, us having the same style and the same interests. It's, and... People get like super weird about it and they're like, be, they get other. very defensive over it. And it's like, you're copying each other. Like, <laughs> but we be don't your mean own to. person. Like, why do you have to try to be like each other? And it's like, we really don't mean to. And imagine like having an older sister. The way that I look at it is that like, we look to each other for inspiration. And like, yeah. we are very, um, I don't know, like you look up to me and I look down to you. Not in like look down, but I look up to you like we just look up to each other in those yeah. types of ways And I feel like we bounce off of each other. Yeah, we yeah. do And we're sisters like we have the same vibe to an extent. We, I mean we you share know? the same blood We have to have the same vibe, you know? Yeah, and I just feel like um Also, I don't we don't compare each other. We know that we're both so different. Yeah, like I don't know I feel like we don't compare each other to each other like we just kind of embrace how we are. Like we have diff completely different body types. Completely different like, like I don't know, I feel like I'm very like Features. athletic and like strong. Not that you're not athletic and strong, but, but you like know I'm I mean. strong in different ways. You're like, strong in different ways, yeah. You can build muscle easily. It doesn't take me that easily to build muscle, but like, I, yeah. Are you competitive with your YouTube? A lot of people asking if we're competitive with YouTube. Honestly, we're not. Nar. Um, for me, like, I don't even think about, like, followers or anything like that. I don't either. Like, I don't know. I just go just as you. I please. You go as you please. Yeah. We just chill. Know. Yeah. We just happen to do the same thing. Do you ever fight? Do we ever fight? Like, y like yeah, but, like, it's the type of thing where it's, like, you say it and then it's gone. Yeah. We're very honest with each other. And I feel like... 
we communicate about how we feel yeah. and talk about it. So, um, and if we do fight, it's because I'm just so sensitive. Yeah, <laughs> and if we do fight, it's because I am so like want to get to the bottom of it quick, and I'm like have no time for like any sort of tension or any sort of like Jesus man watch out <gasps> but I feel like if we do fight it's yeah I'm just very like what's wrong like why won't you tell me and if you're like I don't want to talk about it I'm like but why like that's just I don't know how do you guys deal with body insecurities I just feel like I was dealing with like my body insecurities when I was like a senior no when I was like a freshman in college and like I wasn't on YouTube yet so I feel like it makes it so much like different than your situation um i dealt with mine when i was in high school so like that was way before way before I well i posted my first video during the time and then that made it worse because everyone in my school made fun of me and then that was like eh, and i was like oh very sad but i don't know yeah we both dealt with it way before yeah way before youtube and i feel like that was good because now I feel like there's a lot of pressure online. And that we got it out of the way, we learned how to deal with it. And like be confident. Yeah. Because my freshman year of college, like I I have like a more athletic build and I have like muscular legs and I always like it would bother me that like jean shorts wouldn't fit me and like jeans wouldn't fit me. Nothing would fit me. And I just wanted to wear like a jean skirt, like back when those were like a thing. Um and like I don't know I just felt uncomfortable because my legs were so muscular and I always wanted to like run a lot to like make my legs get slimmer and like I never wanted to like lift because I gained muscle so easy but I just feel like I got over that point um, in my earlier years of college and now like I am able to just like I accepted myself for who I like how I was born and who I am and how I look and just like all the different features about myself because I just feel like that's me and um, I love my body and I love how strong I am and I love how like active I am and all that my body does for me and I just feel like it's made me be able to like be confident and then like I am grateful that I got over that stage in my life um, so I'm able to like help people on YouTube. Yeah, with confidence. It's, either to help, it's easier to help people when you've already like learned, not like learned, but like overcome it. Overcome it, rather than when you're still trying to overcome it, you can't really help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it gives you like an easier understanding of like um, the fact that you can understand how other people are feeling more. Than, yes, yeah. exactly. Because I feel like when you're in a situation and like you're dealing with the same thing and you like you just don't know what to you say don't know how like... to help people because it's like you're struggling too. Did YouTube help you through your parents' divorce? Mm -hmm. I feel like it did for sure. Yeah. I like made my channel as it was like during the really bad times of it, and I just mm -hmm. feel like I that's what my focus like. I put all my focus into my YouTube channel, which helped a lot because obviously putting all the focus into your YouTube channel and like doing something you love makes you like it just makes you get used to it you know yeah, yeah. and it takes your mind off of it and keeps you yeah. occupied yeah and I feel like another thing that helped was that we were doing it together mm -hmm. and we were working so hard at YouTube and like just like putting all of our time and effort into it and we just started more as like a fun thing to do with like each other with friends and then obviously it turned into what it is now which never in a million years would I've ever thought that it I would be where I am especially two years ago like when we first were starting and when we were going through like our parents divorce I just feel like it um, helped make things better too because we also became financially independent mm -hmm. and I feel like it would have been so different if we weren't on our own just like with our parents divorce um, things got like really hard and yeah I feel like it definitely helped us though but it's weird to look back because like during the divorce I feel like you and I were 
like I don't know we were so sad and I remember you being so sad and me being sad yeah. and I would always talk to Tyler about how like I just wanted to be able to like help you but I was also dealing with yeah, it yeah and like it doesn't help that I don't know like I feel like I was always being so sad I always tried to be so happy for mm -hmm. my YouTube videos so, like making them was like the only thing that like made us happy at that point that kind of got, obviously got our minds off of it but then we had each other and like we couldn't really you're just so alone in that point and your life is so different and all you do is look back to the way that it used to be yeah and just compare it to the way that things were before and it's just like nothing's the same like no one is the same in this situation your mom's not going to be the same your dad's not going to be the same like your, your family's not going to be the same so you just have to kind of like unite with your siblings and stick together and find something that will bring joy yeah like we we get together with our brother a lot and we cook mm -hmm. and we like have dinner and we hang out and just spend time with each other and kind of get used to like the new way of living mm -hmm. because like everything happens for a reason and although it's hard it teaches you a lot of lessons and I feel like you learn a lot and you get stronger what's your favorite thing to do to relieve stress like if you were a workout like what should, what would your favorite workout be if you were like stressed if you just wanted to do something to like move is it just moving your body in general yeah, just moving or moving my body in general like no matter either like going to the gym going to a workout class like yoga mm -hmm. doing something walking going outside just breathing, moving driving listening to music those types of things like doing something else like getting mine would probably be um when i'm stressed what do i do when i'm stressed i tell people i'm stressed yeah i text my sister i text my mom i text my boyfriend and i'm like i'm stressed and they're like why and then i say why and i talk about it like i'm more yeah. of like i if i'm stressed i can't work out i can't like do anything i need to just sit and i need to talk about how i feel yeah, you're funny because you are able to express things. I like to keep it in. Yeah, you and do. I like to just like figure it out on my own and like go drive somewhere or listen to music or just kind of like block it out, ignore it. <laughs> Process it through your head. Yeah, just kind of like hopefully it goes away. And I need to talk about it and like... Yeah. <laughs> okay, a few more and then we'll end off this. Oh, how's house hunting going? I feel like we should talk about this right now. <laughs> yeah that's how I feel too that's exactly how I feel oh my god we've like a few months ago I guess oh was the out. house hunting video <laughs> but we found a place to live um I guess let's just talk about in this video because it's gonna be yeah. like within the next like so obviously like everything's going on right now um you guys already know but it happened so suddenly that we were like in the middle of planning like the things with our new place where we're moving to we're not living together though no but like we're but still close to each other <laughs> same building which like we kind of have to do because like yeah. i i don't know like i just feel like it's more it's like better that we're closer to we get to each other because we don't really yeah. have like we don't really we have don't that have, like, like home based family, family thing we and need, i feel like that's why we need to stay as close as we can to like our siblings mm -hmm. and we um always hang out so mm -hmm. like i like being near you like because we obviously like work do the same we have the same job um we do the same stuff during the day like because everybody else who's at their like jobs and school and doing their own things like me and emma work from home obviously so we're together all the time. We like being close to each other. Also, Tyler said that you, he doesn't want you living in the city on your own by yourself. And so he was like, it makes me feel so good that Emma's going to be near us. I'm and also 18 years old. And like, I feel like some people think I'm older than I actually yeah. am. That they're like, you should be on your own. But like, if you were on your own at your If I was on my own at 18, like... I don't know. I just feel like it was so different because I like lived in a dorm room, yeah. you know, and like and I had like, roommates and a bunch of people living in my building and it just wasn't like how it is now. Even though I'm so mature, I'm also still a kid. Yeah. Like 
I act like sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I act like I'm older than I am, like I'm your age. But like deep down, I'm literally 18 years old. Like I have just turned into an adult. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it would be super lonely for you if you were by yourself. Like, like why not? Yeah. I don't, like that's just why I like being with you. Like I like hanging out with you. I like being around you. And I just feel like I would be so, I don't know. I, I know what it's like for, I lived alone, but I was 20. Three, wait, no, 22. Mm -hmm. I was 22 when I lived alone, and I was like, it was fine, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be super lonely. Mm -hmm. I'm excited though. You guys are gonna like love our new place. I can't wait to show you. A home vibe. And we, yeah, wanted a home vibe, like Emma said. But we, still in the city. Yeah, that's why. Like, we were gonna look at houses because like we wanted a lot of room. Like the main focus was we wanted a lot more space than we have right now which is what we found but we realized that like we didn't want to move out of the city just yet just because like we have our whole life to figure that out and like we're so young and we like all of our friends are here mm -hmm. um and there's just so much to do like all of our favorite restaurants but we definitely wanted more space and yeah so we found the perfect place and I can't wait to show you guys. It's just hard like right now with what's going on because I don't know yet. what is like what we're gonna do while moving and it's definitely something we're gonna have to figure out. Mm -hmm. Um but we'll obviously keep you guys updated on that. But right now we're just chilling still. But when the time comes, obviously you guys will know everything and see our new places and all of that um so last part last question oh favorite thing to do in boston during the summer we're gonna say because during the winter because yeah. i was just like we're gonna do summertime so describe your perfect day in boston on a warm summer day from when you wake up till when you go to bed we'll wake do up that in the morning obviously to walk and get coffee where oh. What coffee shop? I would have to say my new favorite, La Columbia, Columbia, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. I don't know. Either there or Starbucks. Really depends on the mood. Um, I'd walk and get coffee. I would listen to like a podcast or music on the way or like talk to you if I was with you, obviously. And then I would do a workout. I remember we used to work out in the upstairs gym on the... With our trainer? Yeah, with our trainer. The outdoor workouts, those were so fun. Those were fun. I liked that. Doing that, like, at 10 was so nice. And then mm -hmm. um, I would... What would I do for the rest of the day? I don't know what I would do for the rest of the day. Whatever, like, I need to do that day. But then when nighttime comes around, mm -hmm. I would go into Seaport, go to dinner at Lola 42, get their truffle fries for like to start and mm -hmm. then I get a seaweed salad and sushi weirdest combination but so good and then I would go see the sunset in that little area and sit down in front of that fire and then walk around walk down like to the side over that bridge walk down into like that that area that I don't like but I only like it when it's along the water the financial near, district near that near the big um flag you know the big flag oh, that's in the yeah, harbor. Yeah, yeah. like near the north end. Yeah, near the north end. And near Faneuil Hall. That area. And then I would go to either Pressed and get dessert, or I'd go to Ben and Jerry's and get their non-dairy oh. cookie dough with chocolate sprinkles. You know what's funny? That's literally a similar day to what I would do. <laughs> oh, really? Want me to tell you? Yeah, tell me. That's such a relaxing day, and I was about to say that in my head, like something like that. I have so, another. Oh, wait, no, this is in Boston, but yeah, keep going, sorry. If I were to have like my favorite day in Boston, or like a typical, like what I would do, um, I would wake up, I would also walk to get coffee. I would go to, ooh, if it's summer, I'm thinking ice. I would go to Starbucks, probably. Or I would go to, I would go to Starbucks. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then after I would walk home, I would probably go 
lay outside for a little while and get some sun or like go to the beach and then after I would go inside I would take a shower I would film a video I would do a get ready with me and like do my makeup mm -hmm. and get ready to go out to dinner and I would like get anything oh wh what about my workout after coffee I would work out for a workout I would go either to the gym I would go to Equinox or I would go to like probably yeah I would I would want to do like a trainer workout too yeah that's just like a big vibe in the summer mm -hmm. um so I would like go to the gym I would do like a lift I would walk home after that I would lay outside like read a book listen to an end my let podcast or a skinny confidential podcast or I would go to the beach and then I would shower put on lotion after being outside have like a nice little glow I would get work done for the afternoon um, maybe upload a video maybe film a video I would do a get ready with me and do like a natural sun-kissed makeup look I'm very specific right now and then put on a cute little outfit probably like a pair of jeans and sneakers and like a little tank top with like a cute little bag go out to dinner and I would go to Seaport also or I would go to the North End um, but if I went to Seaport I would go to Bar Taco oh, I forgot about that place I would have like a glass of wine like a Pinot Grigio or like a spicy margarita probably Pinot Grigio that's like a vibe in the summer but Bar Taco no, right. <laughs> and then after I would go to Pressed, I would get dessert. I, or if I was in the North End, I would go to Cafe Victoria and I would get the gelato. They have like a raspberry or like a lemon. No, is it gelato? Or sorbet. Sorbet. Yeah, the sorbet. Um, I would do that or I would go to Pressed, get dessert, like walk around. And then if it was like a going out night, I would then after dinner, I'd want to like go out with all my friends. I love going to Bodega in the summer. Um, or like sitting on the rooftop at my apartment, maybe like drinking a glass of wine with like Tyler, some friends talking. I don't know, just like keeping it chill. Yeah. I love Seaport during the summer. Seems about the same yeah. day as me. Seems about the same day. Well, we're gonna end off this video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and um, hope that you guys are all staying safe, staying inside, staying healthy, and we love you. I will link both of our Instagrams. I will link Emma's YouTube down below. And we'll see you next time.